Welcome. The following technical support video will show you how to set your default settings for all of the multi-rip GP printers. In order to do this, we'll first start off by going to your start button and then control panel. In the control panel, you're going to want to find your printers and faxes folder or printers folder depending on whether you're running Microsoft XP or Vista. Once you enter your printers folder, you'll notice that there are several printer icons that are located or print queues that are specific to the MRGP. For example, we have the MRGP double color, MRGP with white ink, we have an easy dark garment one, an easy dark garment two, and an easy light garment. What I'm going to do is show you how to set your default settings for these print queues so that way when you go file print and you choose which printer you want to send, send the file to it will automatically have these settings. So we're going to start off with MRGP Easy Dark Garment 1. You want to click on it once and then right click and go to printing preferences. Your printing preferences window will open up and in the bottom right hand corner of that window there's an advanced button. This procedure is going to look very similar to when you go to print out of your software as well. When you click on the advanced button you now have the RIP settings. So what we're going to do is we're going to go in and select their default settings for each one of these. The default settings we can choose are depending on what printer you have the different platen sizes that comes with it. I'm going to choose the adult platen size. I tend to use that a little bit more. I'd also recommend you looking and determining whether you want to set a default print quality setting depending on which printer you have. I'm going to go ahead and leave that at fine. Then I'm going to scroll down and look at some of my other default settings. I'll look at my color appearance. I tend to print more in photo normal because I tend to do more raster graphics, uh, photographs and things than compared to clip art or just pure text and photo normal tends to work as the best then you can choose your layer type. Now remember that this is our easy dark garment one. So you really want to keep this to one of the dark shirt layers that we're going to use. I actually really like the color layer auto mask black background layer for the sole specific reason of it will generate a white underbase that is based on the weight of the color ink that's on top of it. The weight being a grayscale weight for it. So what I would like to do is go ahead and leave this one for color layer auto mask black background. I can choose the number of color passes and white passes as well by just simply clicking on them and changing them. Depending on your printer these could make the adjustment slightly different. Then I can go to my RGB source profile. In the RGB source profile, I can choose any of these RGB colors that I want to go ahead and set as my default. I really like NTSC and color match RGB. NTSC tends to do me a little bit better on reds and blues. And then for the media type, I can change to any of them of the colors. Just remember that when we're printing on um, dark garments, we're using white ink, we're going to want one of the darker colors, so I'll just choose black cotton. Then I can continue to look down and set my white ink density. Typically you'll use white ink density at medium for most of the t-shirts, that tends to be with the most I'd land up printing, so that is what I would recommend setting as a default. You can also use same as color or light, depending on if you do a lot more very light fabric like bamboo, or heavy if you do a lot of sweatshirts the black ink under base behavior settings. You'll notice that there's only one available to you because with the color layer auto mask black background you can only choose um, the ability not to print any black ink. If you want to print black ink with that one then you would also use this layer in conjunction with the capture black for next print setting. And then you can also turn around and use your auto white highlights. I like to set my default to 7. Now that I've had those settings, I'll go ahead and click OK, click Apply, and then OK. We'll 
do is we'll go ahead and set our easy light garment since the settings in there are slightly different. Go ahead and right click over it, go to Print Preferences, go ahead and click Advance, and in this case you'll notice we'll go ahead and set the platen to the same size because that's typically what we use. We'll keep our print quality at fine. But when you come down, you'll notice that there are less options available in this one. That's primarily because you have less options. Life is a lot easier when printing just CMYK ink. So what we'll do is we'll go ahead and I'm going to leave the color appearance at photo normal. My color pass is at 1. We we'll talk with the manufacturer of your machine to determine what the appropriate number of color passes are. But ultimately, you need to do your own tests at your shop for your customer's graphics. And also, we're going to set our RGB source profile to NTSC 1953, and I'm going to leave it as bi-directional. That's all it takes to setting up your own default settings for your multi-rip GP printer queues. If you have any questions, please visit www.multiripusers.com. Thank you.